Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to install HiveOS onto your mining rig. If you don't know what HiveOS is, it's basically a Linux based operating system that gives crypto miners a web based interface. It's much easier and faster to install than Windows, so a lot of miners really recommend installing it. And it's free and it's much more stable than mining on Windows. So if you don't know how to install it onto your rig, then this video is for you because I'm going to explain how to install it onto your rig and start mining right away. So the first thing you're going to want to do is sign in or create an account because you're gonna need an account to run. So I already have one running. So what you're gonna do, well, I guess I can't show you because I'm already logged in, but you'll have a page to sign up for an account. And once you do that, I recommend setting up two-factor authentication and creating a secure path. Now, once you've done that, go to this website, hiveos.farm slash install. I'll have a link to this in the description and scroll down to GPU. Now, if you're mining with ASICs, then this video is not for you because I've never set up ASICs before. So yeah, we're mining with GPUs in this video. So what you're gonna wanna do is download the zip file for the HiveOS image. Now, there is a thing you're gonna have to consider um, some people do better on beta images <clears throat> and other people do better on the stable. So this is the stable version. This is the beta version. I tried installing the stable version on one of the rigs I was setting up and I had lots of issues where like the ethernet was not connecting properly. So I had to switch over to the beta version. So I recommend starting with the stable version. Just download the zip file and flash it onto your rig and try running it. And if it is giving you any problems, I would just do this whole process again and do the beta version instead. So the process is the same for both of them. So I'm just going to cancel this. And once this is down, once this is downloaded, I'll show you how to set it up. While that's downloading, you're going to head over to this website, blena.io slash etcher. And this is basically a software that takes the drive you just downloaded and flashes it onto a USB stick or an SSD that you're going to be using for your rig. So download for Windows and then wait for that to download. So once that's downloaded, I'll show you what to do next. While those guys are downloading, you should have a farm already made on your account, but if you don't, just hit the plus up here and enter in a farm name and just hit save. But if you already have one, just open it up. And then what you can do is add worker and then GPU, the one on the right. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click the one on the right, connect existing, click on that. And then here you go, you have this page and this is the name of your rig. You can change that later. And then you have a rig ID and password. So what you're gonna wanna do here is download rigconf, rig.conf, that's config. Download that and that's gonna be your config for your rig, which is gonna install onto the drive that you're installing HiveOS onto. So right here, I have the three things that you need to download. I have the HiveOS image, the software, and the rig config. So open this up. You're going to want to extract it. And once that is extracted, just keep this file here. Here's your image. And then you're going to have to set up this software. So I've already done this. So just go through the process like you normally would installing anything. And then once you have it installed, just open it up and hit flash from file. And then you can go to wherever you installed. You can go to wherever you installed it. So I installed it into this folder. And then you sit open after you select it. And then select target. So depends on what you're using. So if you're using a USB drive to install this onto your rig and run it off, then you should just plug in the USB drive and it should pop up here. But if you're using an SSD, you just plug in the SSD that you're gonna be using for your mining rig into your computer and then it should show up here. So I would be using like an SSD here. So just select it. It's gonna give you warnings because it's like a system drive. It's not an actual USB drive. And also it depends on what you're using to plug in the SSD. If you plug it right into your motherboard with a normal SATA cable, then it's gonna show up here. But if you're using like a USB 3 adapter, then it should show up like a USB drive. Now you can do it like this. It might not be as stable, but it does work for me. So just hit select and then it'll give you more warnings and just hit flash. Now it is gonna give you like another window. I'm not gonna do this because I don't wanna get rid of everything on my SSD because this is one I actually use for my computer. But yeah, I'll give you a big window here. You just hit yes and it should work. And if you're using a USB drive, then it should just be easy to hit flash. It turns out I'm gonna have to flash it onto this. I don't actually use this drive on my computer, but I'm just gonna flash it anyways to show you guys for this tutorial. But just so you know, like when you do this, it's gonna erase everything on this drive. So make sure there's nothing on it that you actually need. If there is, just make a backup of it somewhere else. So I hit change target by accident. So I'm just gonna select this and then flash. And then this is what I was telling you about earlier. So instead of hitting this big yellow button, hit yes, I'm sure. And that'll start flashing it. And then it'll pop up this window, just hit yes. And then it will start. So once this is done, I'll get back to you guys. This should take like a minute or so, depending on how fast your computer is. Okay, so once it's done flashing, I actually just went through a bunch of problems with this, but it'll say flash complete. If it's not, then you might have to try it again, but it should say flash complete. And then what you're gonna have to do is if you're using a USB stick 
or like an SSD that's plugged into a USB, you're gonna have to unplug it and then plug it back in and it should show up. But if you're installing it directly onto an SSD plugged into your motherboard with SATA cable, then you're gonna have to restart your PC. Don't change anything, just restart it right after it's done and it should pop up. So you go to your file explorer and then it should be right here. Now, if it's not, then just type in partitions and then go to your drive and then where it says hive just hit change drive loader and path and then change it to something that's like not anything else being used so just hit c just to be safe and hit ok and then it, it should show up after you refresh it now if it doesn't show up here comment down below and i should be able to try and help you out because i've always struggled with this and i just actually tried to get it to show up here while recording the video and it didn't show up but i just got it now so anyways once you have that downloaded Go back to your config file, wherever you download that, right here. And then just put it right into the folder, the Hive folder. And then see how it says three here? You're gonna make sure it says just rig. Now it would be rig.config, but I guess my computer doesn't show it. Yeah, it's a config file, so you don't have to type in, but make sure it's rig.conf or if it's just rig and then make sure it's config file. And that's your config. So it has your, your rig ID. Uh, and your rig name and then it has the password right here. So yeah Once that is done All you have to do is plug it into your mining rig now if you have a USB It's simple. You just plug it into a USB port if you have an SSD just plug it into a SATA port with a SATA cable and make sure the SATA power is connected to it and then before you boot the computer make sure your Ethernet cable is plugged into it because like if you're going to be using Wi-Fi, which I don't recommend because Wi-Fi is just not very stable and you'll get less performance out of your mining rig. So just plug in Ethernet and then once the Ethernet is plugged in and it's a stable connection, you're going to start to boot your computer or boot your mining rig. And then after you let it run for a couple minutes, you should be able to see it on a Hive OS. So that account that you made with the config, it should like right now it will be offline. But once it's booted, this offline symbol should be gone. And then you should start to see like this should show your uh, GPUs. So I don't have a new rig to be able to set up for this video. So I'm just going to show you what you do once it's running for my mining rig that's already running. So it should pop up here. You should see like your GPUs. You won't see any um, hash rate yet. But yeah, just go to your GPUs. And then this is my mining rig. It's been running for like a long time. I did reboot it a couple of times, but yeah. The first thing you're gonna have to do is hit flight sheet and I have a couple flight sheets set up. So yeah, to manage your flight sheets, just up here, click on flight sheets. And then this is how you set up like the settings for your rig. So like what coin are you gonna mine? What wallet are you gonna mine to? What pool are you gonna mine with? And so on. So coin ticker, if you're mining Ethereum, just hit Ethereum. If you're mining ETC, click ETC. If you're mining nice hash Ethereum, just hit that. Or ton coin. There's every everything you can mine here. It's right here. So hit Ethereum, and then if you don't have a wallet, hit Add Wallet. Now, depending on what coin you're mining, you're gonna have to set up that. So I already have. If you have an Ethereum wallet, just paste in your Ethereum wallet address here, and then you can name this like Ethereum. Say it's a Coinbase wallet. Just hit Coinbase wallet like that. Just so you know what it is. It doesn't really matter what the name is. And then you don't really need to put this here. So I just leave it like that. And then yeah, if you have multiple farms, you can select this like so that you can have this wallet on multiple farms but if it's just one farm you're setting up then you can leave that off and hit create so i already have a wallet so i'm going to show you using that but yeah you'd put in your address here and then you select it so i'm using a ledger nano x and then for pool depending what you use i if you're mining ethereum i would recommend ethermine which is this pool right here depending on where you are if you're in asia just say asia one or asia two and if you're in the us east or west coast i'm in the east so i'm going to be using that and if you're in europe you can set europe and then once you do that just hit apply and then you have your pool set up and then for your miner this is like what mining software you're going to be using if you've ever mined on windows before you'll recognize some of just the name of the mining software so if you're using all nvidia cards i strongly recommend t-rex miner that's the one i always use and then if you're using like amd only you just hit team red miner and then if you're using like a mix of both then you can go with like g miner nb miner they're all pretty good basically so yeah i'm just going to use t-rex miner for the purpose of this and then don't really do anything i don't i don't do any dual call mining you can if you want you can play around with it but i don't do any of that and then you're gonna want to name the flight sheet so just hit like ethereum uh, ledger t-rex just make up like something that you'd remember if you ever change your flight sheet so this will be like a good reference uh to use both of them and then create flight sheet and then once you have that you'll have it right here and you'll have the ethereum ledger t-rex 
And then once it's created, go back to your worker, hit flight sheets, and then you can see the thing that you just created here. So Ethereum Leisure T-Rex, I already have a couple of them made already, and this is the one that's being used right now. So once it's created, you just hit the rocket ship right here, and that will hit worker update successfully. Now, all right, this won't change anything for me because it's basically the same settings I've already been running. But yeah, that'll just update the config. And then once that's done, you'll basically be mining right away. The only thing that's left to do is to change the overclock setting. So if you have like one GPU, you can just hit the individual one. But if you want to do all of them at once, then you can do this one here. So what you're going to do, if they're actually, if they're all the same brand you can just hit all and to find the overclock settings you can head over this website called hash rate i i've used this website a lot in my videos and then if you're mining ethereum just hit ethereum if you're mining another coin click on these guys and then go down to your card model make sure it's the right model so if you have like 3060 ti non-lhr use this one but if you have the lhr version then that one is down here so 3060 ti what you can do is scroll down to ethereum all the other ones are like ton coin overclocks are here Cortex, Ergo, and then all the other ones are down there. So Ethereum, here are the overclock settings you can use. Now I use a little bit of different ones. Like I use the same memory clock and but I use different uh, core clock and I don't use power limit, which I'll explain over there. So yeah, you can find your, just like a reference point. Every GPU is different. You might want to start with low and then work your way up to medium. And then if that works well, you can go up to high, but use this at your own risk because every GPU is different. They may not be able to handle the same overclocks that mine do. But basically for setting up overclocks, I'm gonna be making a separate video on this that'll explain everything about it. But for now, you can just hit the overclock button and put in your memory clock here. You wanna have your fan, like your fan limit depends. So you can try auto, but your fans will probably be running a little bit hot. So you might wanna try like 80 or something, or maybe 60, something around like 60 to 80. I just want them on 80 because I don't care about how loud they are, I just my cards to be cool. You can also do 100%. It really depends on how loud and cool you want your cards to be. And then you can put in your overclock settings here that you found on the website. So I these are like just the settings I use for my GPUs, the 3060 Ti and LHR. It really depends on what you have. And there's also another option, popular presets. You can select the coin you're mining and then you can select the model and the memory size and then there's a bunch of like options here already pre-made from people using this so like you can use this one and it puts in the settings automatically and then you can just put in your fan and all you have to do is apply and that's a really easy way to do it but since i already have my settings i'm good with them i'm just gonna hit cancel and let it run so yeah once that's done there's really nothing else to really change like you don't really have to change any other settings like that's all you really have to do like you're going to have your overclocks in your cards will be mining efficiently you'll have the right wallet you're mining to and for that ether mine pool once you have it running the wallet address you had just paste it right into here and it should be like this okay and really the only thing you need to change on this uh, mining pool website is your payout setting so go over to the payout section actually no go to the settings section hit payment method and right here you'll see like your uh price limit setting of 40 gwe so this basically is how much are you going to be paying in transaction fees to receive your ethereum mining profits so it really depends on what you want to do but if you want to change it just hit gas price limit and threshold and then the payment threshold you can set so depending on how much you're mining a month if you're mining like if you have a really big mining computer then you can set this to like one or two ethereum but in most cases like i would just set it to 0.1 most cases i would just set it to 0.1 but the minimum is 0.01 and the max is 10 so play around with this and you don't really have to change it because you can also request when you want to receive something and then for the gas price you're going to want to set it to something low like 40 gateway or maybe 80 just don't go don't go above 80 because anything over 80 is quite expensive and then to save your settings and then to save your settings you're going to have to find go into your hive os go into the bottom and then hover over remote IP. I'm not gonna do this because you guys will be able to see it, but it's basically like a password, so don't share this with anyone. Don't like screenshot while it's showing because that's pretty bad. But once you have that number, type it into here, and then you just hit update settings, and that'll save everything. So if you're a small miner, maybe set it to 0.01 and then put the gas price at like 40 or 50. But if you don't wanna worry about like what you set it to, what you can do is hit request, and then this will like, whatever you have enough the minimum i think is zero point yeah zero point zero zero five once you have above that at any time you can request to get some out of it now i just leave it at 40 because it doesn't like i have a pretty good amount of ethereum just sitting here it doesn't really matter if it's sitting here because like the ether mine like the mining pool wallet is pretty secure i mean there's like i don't know there's probably like over 10 million dollars of ethereum in this wallet so yeah to just head over to this like yeah they have a good amount of ethereum sitting in here and it's pretty secure like this they're probably not gonna get hacked into so 
yeah, like it doesn't, you can probably leave like Yon Ethereum in here for months and it really doesn't matter. But yeah, that's how you set up the mining pool. And once you do that, you really don't have to touch anything else. 